Good morning. Welcome to Faith Walk Ministry, www. And my name is Chase Palmer. We are glad that you can join us. I'm going to call up my mother for a song. Hey God, we thank you for everything that you've been doing in our lives and in this church. God, we thank you too. We thank you for everything that you've been doing through this past year, God. And God, we just thank you for this church and for blessing it. In Jesus' name, amen. 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 Now I'm going to call up my mother for a song. Thank you, Lord God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Isn't God good? God is indeed faithful. He is he he's trustworthy. We know that we can rely on God for anything and everything. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Uh, uh, this song that we're about to sing is called Remember Me. I, I just want to give a little backstory of how this song came up. I was feeling down. I was feeling lonely, feeling left out. And all I could say was, God, remember me. Remember me. That's where this song came from. My desperation of God, remember me. Hallelujah. So JC is going to help me sing this song. Praise God. Remember me, Lord. Remember me. You promise not to leave me, nor forsake me. Remember me, Lord. Remember me. Your promise are yes and amen. Your promise are yes and amen. Remember me, Lord. Remember me. You promise not to leave me. No. Your promises are yes and amen. Your promise are yes and amen. Remember me, Lord. Remember me. You're not a man that you should lie, nor the son of man. That you repent, you gave your life for all my sins. All that I ask of you today, remember me, Lord. Remember me, remember me. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jace. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Hallelujah. You know how we do it here? We sing a song and then we go straight into the message to God be all the glory, great things he has done and is doing. God is worthy to be praised. God is worthy to be praised. Hallelujah. So I don't come up here for, for form and fashion. I don't come up here for show. I come to do the will of God. I come to speak what God gives me the say. Amen? Amen. And so today the topic is, in these last days, many will turn away from their faith. 
I was laying down and I always ask God for instructions. Lord, what is it that you would have me say to your people? What is it that you want your people to hear? Glory be to God. And so that's what God gave me. That many in these last days, because this is the word of God, many will fall away and turn away from their faith. We see this happening already. Many, so many people are caught up on fame and, and um, wealth. They forgot that it is God who raised them up for his glory and for his honor. Some of us are failing uh, um, God, failing big time because we're not doing what God has called us to do. We're, 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 we're trying to satisfy our flesh. We're looking again for fame and fortune. And God is saying, no, there are souls that needs to be saved. There are many people that are walking away because they don't have the substance of the word of God. The word of God is not being planted into their hearts. Amen. Praise God. And so God sent me here to tell you, don't turn away. Hold on. Don't let go of the word of God. Trust the promises that God has made over your life. Hallelujah. God reminded me of Saul. And this is for the people that God has been raising up. For the preachers and the pastors and the prophets that God has called. We are responsible for taking the word of God into the all over the world. We are responsible for, for, for to tell people not to water down, but to tell them just how God has given us his word. We have to go forth and do what God tells us to do and say what he tells us to say. Because if we don't, again, the blood of people will be on your hand. God has called us to be responsible. God, God instructed Saul, uh, uh, Samuel, to anoint Saul, uh, 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 make him king over his people. He was to lead these people. In 1 Samuel chapter 15, verse 1, Samuel also said, um, said unto Saul, the Lord sent me to anoint thee to be king over his people, over Israel. Now, therefore, hearken unto the voice of the, of the words of the Lord. Hearken means to listen carefully. Be attentive. Pay attention as to what God wants you to say. Glory be to God. Hearken unto the voice of the Lord, the words of the Lord. What God is speaking to, what is God speaking to you? Have you relayed the message? Yes, we are still talking about people falling away. But it's important for us pastors and preachers and ministers and prophet, prophets to give the word of God according to what God has said so that people don't fall away. So that they are drawn into the word of God. It's the word of God that changes the heart of man. Amen? It's the word of God that changed the heart of man. Many of God's people, God's people, God has handpicked us. He has chosen us to be a voice, just like he did with Saul. But we allow pride and arrogance to get in the way. We allow it to take over. And, and, and now we are no longer being led by the Holy Spirit. Not we. Some of us are not being led by the Holy Spirit, but, but, but we're, we're hungry for what the world has to offer. And so therefore, God's people is being led astray. Hallelujah. It is of the utmost importance. Hallelujah. That we speak exactly what God says. Too many of God's people, again, of God's people are being led astray. They are being led astray far away from God because of false doctrines. False doctrines. This is why it's so important that we allow the Holy Spirit to teach us. Because he's not going to give us the wrong information. God knows himself. God's word is God. He knows himself. So he's not going to give you the wrong message to take to the people. He's going to give you a message that is supposed to convict people. And bring you closer to him. And far away from sin. Glory be to God. This is the scripture that God gave me concerning why many people walk away. 2 Timothy Chapter 3, verse 16 to 17. All scripture, sorry, this is not it yet, sorry. But this is a scripture that God gave me. All scripture is given by inspiration of God and, to pro, and is profitable for doctrine, for reproof, for correction, 
and for instruction in righteousness, that the man of God may be perfect, thoroughly furnished unto all good works. The scripture is to correct us. It's to, for us to understand what we are doing is wrong. If it goes against the word of God, it is wrong. And it's supposed to, the word of God brings us back to the path of righteousness. It teaches us how to live holy. God said, be ye holy as I am holy. So us believers and followers of Christ must live according to the word of God. We have to represent Christ. People must see God in us before we can even tell them. Amen. People must see God in you. Hallelujah. And that's by how you live. How you carry yourself. Your character. Glory be to God. This is for the prophets and the preachers and the teachers, the leaders of the church. God is saying, do as I tell you to do. Because my people are walking away. Because they're not getting sound doctrine. They're not hearing the word of God the way they're supposed to know it. The word of God is being watered down because we don't want to hurt nobody's feelings. Because we are scared that people are not going to like us. God is saying, give the word according to the word of God. Speak what I tell you to speak. Don't you dare change anything. Don't take nothing out. Glory be to God. There are souls to be win. One. There are souls being lost. God is saying, tell what I, I'm giving you this message because somebody needs to hear it. Somebody's life is going to be saved. Speak what I tell you to speak. Glory to God. Second Thessalonians. This is it. Chapter two, verse one to three. Now we beseech you, you brethren, by the coming of the Lord Jesus Christ and by our gathering together unto him. That they, that ye be not soon shaken in mind, or be troubled, neither by spirit, nor by the word, nor by letters as from us. As the day of Christ is at hand, let no man deceive you by any means. For the day shall come, except there come a falling away first, and that man of sin be revealed the son of perdition. God is saying, this word is saying that we see so much going on around us, people of God. We see the world is in trouble. We see that Satan is wreaking havoc. But, 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 but Paul said, don't you worry yourself. Don't get distracted by what you see. Glory be to God. He said, don't worry about uh, 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 the, the shaking of the mind. Amen? And, 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 and from, from the trouble, don't be troubled, neither in your spirit. We got to tell people what the word of God says so that people are able to stand firm. They are planted in the word and on the word of God. And they're not shaken by anything what they see. Because their firm foundation is Jesus Christ. Glory be to God. Am I telling you every day? You're going to be rich. Tell me how you're going to be set free. Glory be to God from, from these demons troubling you, uh, troubling you day and night. How are you going to be delivered? Your money can't save you. Glory be to God. Only the Holy Spirit, glory be to God, can set you free. Amen. Jesus said, I of myself can do nothing without my father. Your money, your home, your job, your cars. All these material things can't save you. They can't protect you. This is what the people need to hear. The Bible says, seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness. Glory be to God. And everything you need will be added unto you. Seek God. Seek his righteousness. Seek God and his righteousness. And you will lack nothing. God says, a uh, uh, peace. Those that keep their mind on him, he keeps them in perfect peace. Glory be to God. There's so much we can worry about. There's so much we can stress about. 
Glory be to God. But when we keep our minds on God, when we focus on the word of God, and we focus on what God has already spoken over our lives, glory be to God. The enemy lose every time. Every time. Thank you, Jesus. Be glorified today, God. Be glorified today, God. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Now we know that there will be tests and trials in this life. But Paul is warning us. He said, let nothing deter you because we must be ready for the return of God, uh, of Jesus Christ. If I'm worried about money, if I'm worried about my health, glory be to God. If I'm worried about people liking me, oh, glory be to God. If I'm worried about uh, fame and fortune, glory be to God. When am I going to spend time with God? When am I going to have time to worship? When am I going to have time to have an intimate relationship with God when I'm worried about everything else but God? Glory be to God. There's going to be a great falling away from the church because a lot of people are not getting sound doctrine. They're not being taught the word of God. They're being taught the word of God, but not in the spirit of God. They're being taught that you, you, you can be successful in life. God wants us to have an abundant life. But he said, seek me first. He said, seek me first and watch what I do for you. Watch what I would do for you. Glory be to God. There's a great falling away from the church because people are being deceived. They're being deceived. Paul said, let no one. Let no one by any means deceive you. Oh, I know what it is to be deceived. Oh, it hurts. And it is not a good feeling. But I praise God for every second of the pain. I praise God for every second of the trials. I praise God for every second of the te uh, uh, test. Because of that, because of that, God has opened my eyes. And now I'm listening more. I'm paying attention more. Let no one by any means deceive you. For the day shall come, except there come a falling away first. And that man of, of, of sin, which is Satan, revealed. The son of perdition, torture, torment. We need the word of God. We need it how God gave it to us. We don't need it to be watered down. We don't need it to, to make my, my flesh feel good. I don't want my flesh to feel good. And my soul is dying. This is why it's so important to study the word of God for yourself. If you don't understand, ask the Holy Spirit, who is the greatest teacher. Ask. I was getting dressed this morning as I was ironing and I, I was, I was like, God, you know, the Holy Spirit placed in my, in my, in my spirit. He said, it's like, like, ask me. I want to talk to you. I want to show you things. Don't be afraid. This is what the Holy Spirit was saying. Don't be afraid to ask me anything. Now, too many of us just sit down and hear what the pastor say and go about our business. I was, I was, I was guilty of this. I sit down. I take in the word. I then go about my business after church. Not giving it another thought. Not saying, Lord, let me go and read the word of God for myself to get understanding. Because if the Holy Spirit can speak to them, he can speak to you. Amen. Make yourself available. He will speak to you. That's why he said, don't be afraid to ask me. In these last days, we talk about uh, uh, prosperity preaching. We need to we need to start preaching um cuz God is speaking about repentance. God is telling people, warning people the, the the destruction that will come to you when you live a life of sin. When you live a life that 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 does not line up with the word of God. There is destruction. Yes, God is a loving God. He's a patient God. But he's a jealous God and he's an angry God. And when you go against your father's will because everything belongs to God. 
he will destroy you. That's not my word or my opinion. That's the word of God. I find myself, that's why I, 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 I remember I used to follow so many people hungry for God, hungry, hungry, hungry. And every time, every, just about everybody, and if I'm lying, no, never mind, take, leave, leave that one right there. But God knows the truth. I got so frustrated that I started deleting everybody because I, my soul was not being fed. My soul was hungry. And if I did not walk away from these people, I would be one of those falling away too. I would be one of those walking away from God because I was not getting what I needed. I was not getting, my soul was dying. But I'm going to be, I'm going to have a lot of money. I said, God, this is not what, this is not it. And I know it's through the Holy Spirit that was giving me the hunger. That was telling me, was, was giving me that drive to want more of God. So I had to stop listening to a lot of people. Because God's word was not being preached. I wasn't hearing, uh, uh, how can I grow in Christ? How can I get a personal relationship with God and keep it? It is only through the Holy Spirit. How can I prosper in my relationship with God? It is only through the Holy Spirit. That's why daily we have to repent. Because we make mistakes known and unknown. Daily we must repent. God wants us to 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 to. to Listen, the people of God must look rich. I ain't gonna lie. You can't look run down when your father is the king. Y'all know my favorite song. I am royal. But I ain't running after the material things. I'm running after the king of kings and lord of lords. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Proverbs chapter 10, verse 22. The blessings of the Lord. And make it rich and add it no sorrow with it. When God bless you, you ain't got to hide it. No. When God bless you, it ain't going to hurt you. No. So true. Huh? God gets the glory. God gets the glory. Jesus, the good news is that Jesus died on the cross for our sins. Amen. And he rose on the third day. So that we can, we no longer have to be slaves to sin. Jesus paid it all for you and for me. So it's my responsibility as a chosen vessel of God to tell you. Repent. Seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness. God is calling us to get closer. Get closer to him. Because a lot of times our problems push us away from God. God, where are you? God, I, I'm not supposed to go through this. Oh, don't you know that the test and trials came to make you stronger? I, every time I'm tested and tried, I move closer to God. No, I'm not perfect because I've already experienced that in the presence of God, there is safety. There's fullness of life. There's fullness of joy. I've experienced it. So when the devil, the more the devil tests me, the more I move closer to God. Because that's my safe place. He's my refuge. So the more you experience things in life, run to God, not away from it. Don't, don't say, God, where are you? God is right there. He's closer when you're going through. He just wants you to trust him. Trust him in the midst of it all. Even when you don't understand, trust God. Trust God. God wants us to be ready. The time is at hand. We say this over and over. Just about every Sunday. The time for Jesus to return is at hand. I don't care if it's five, ten years. The Bible says. The word of God says. That the hand. The time that Jesus is to return is closest. If we look around. We will see the Bible unfolding right before our eyes. Things are happening. And God, the word of God says, when you see these things, look up. Look up. Because the son of man is about to return. Amen. 
Are you ready? Is your soul prepared to meet your maker? Even if you don't see the day uh, uh, that God returns, if, if you die today or tomorrow, is your soul ready? Are you prepared? Because we can't take all these stuff that they're telling you you can get. All this money. You can't take these things with you. No. You're one soul. You even leaving this body. We leaving this body here to rotten. The Bible says dust to dust. We were made from dust. Back to dust we go. Your soul. Your soul is what, God, what concerns God. Is it prepared to meet him today? Don't turn your back on God. Seek after God for yourself. For yourself. Mark chapter 8, verse 36. For what shall it profit a man if he shall gain the whole world and lose his own soul? We have to stop chasing after things and chase after God. The word of God says in Matthew chapter 6, verse 3. Y'all know this is my favorite, so I, 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 I got to repeat it again. But seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all things shall be added unto you. I want God more than I want my husband, and he knows that. I desire God more than I, I desire anything in this world. That's how hungry I am for God. For a relationship with God. I'm hungry. And I'm never satisfied. And I thank God for not allowing me to be satisfied where I am, I'm at in him. Because I don't want to be comfortable. Glory be to God. I don't want to be comfortable. The great falling away. Why is the church falling away? For things. 2 Timothy chapter 3, verse 2 and 4. Why is the church falling away? For men shall be lovers of their own selves, covetous, boasters, proud, blasphemous, or disobedient to parents, unthankful, unholy, without natural affection, truth breaker, false accuser, in, in content, fierce, desp despisers of those that are good, traits, traitors, heady, high-minded, lovers of pleasure more than lovers of God. We are becoming more and more selfish in these last days because the flesh wants what the flesh wants. And ain't nobody telling them. It's wrong. Nobody's telling them that this is leading you to the pit of hell if you don't repent. It's wrong. This flesh is deceitful. The Bible said there's no good thing in it. Romans chapter 7, verse 18. For I know that in me, that is my in my flesh, dwell in no good thing. For to will is present with me. I want to do the right thing. But how to perform that which is good, I find out I can't do it. There is no good thing in the flesh. The only way we can do the right thing is through the Holy Spirit. Again, Jesus said, I within myself can do anything, nothing, without my Father. So if we try to be good, we can't do it unless the Holy Spirit gives us that to do to the, the, the drive to do good. Thank you, Jesus. Paul says in Romans chapter 8, verse 12 and 13. Therefore, brethren, we are debtors not to the flesh. To live after the flesh. Sorry, we got we got some guests in the house. Praise God. To live after the flesh. For if ye live after the flesh, ye shall die. But if ye through the spirit do modify the deeds of the body, you shall live. So if you live after, if you go after the things of the flesh, you will die. 
But if you if you allow the Holy Spirit to modify, to change you, glory be to God, you shall live. Again, the Holy Spirit will not lead you down the path of, of, of destruction, but the path of righteousness. We got to want God more than we want things in, uh, in this world. And the more, the closer we get to God, the further we get away from sin. So therefore, we're almost done. Therefore, we, we, we won't fall away because we trust in and standing on the word of God alone. The word of God is our firm foundation. And any foundation that is built on God, ain't no storm can move it. Nothing can shake it. Glory to God. You don't owe your flesh anything. I give God praise for that. I, I, write, I say hallelujah. Hallelujah. You don't owe your flesh anything. You don't have to please this flesh. The flesh, we ain't talking about skin, you know. We talking about the spirit of the devil. He don't like you. The devil don't care nothing about you. So why you want to do what pleases him? And not the one. God loves you. He sent his only son, Jesus Christ, to die on the cross for you. He loves you that much. But you want to disobey him. Thank you, Jesus. The great falling away is happening because people took their eyes off of Jesus. And they're focused on the things of this world. We can't take our eyes off of Jesus. We can't take our eyes off of Jesus. He's the one that's saying, keep, keep coming. I got you. I got you. And nothing by any means shall harm you. Glory be to God. Glory be to God. We're done. We're done. Many will walk away because the word of God is not taking root into their hearts. They are lured again by the things of this world. They're lured away. But God is saying, keep your eyes on me. Stand on my word. Believe when I say, I will, whatever I said to you, I will do it. God says, my word, it will not return to me void. It will do what I set it out to do. It will perform what I set it out to perform. Keep your eyes on God. No matter what you're going through. I know it's easier said than done, but I'm telling you I've experienced many tests and trials. Yes, there were times when I was like, God, I, I, I don't know if I want to do this. This is too much. But see, God brought me through that. And then more came. And then I remember, oh, the devil is trying to pull me away so that he can kill me. Because if I'm no longer in the presence of God, he's going to kill me. He's not going to let God get another chance to use me. But I thank God for loving me so much that he allows me to go through what I go through. Because it makes me Want him even the more. Don't let the things of this world pull you away from God. Don't let nothing turn you away from your faith. I don't care what you're going through. God is faithful. God is faithful. And he will never leave you nor forsake you. He will never leave you nor forsake you. Your soul is valuable to him. Your soul is valuable to him. Hallelujah. We're done. We're done. That is what the Holy Spirit wanted you to hear. Don't let nothing turn you away from him. Amen. And by don't let any man deceive you by any means. Mm. Study to show thyself approved. Study the word of God for yourself Amen. because many are being deceived. Mm. That's why the church is falling away. That's why they're walking away from their faith. Because a lot of them ain't getting the money that they said they was going to get. Mm. A lot of them ain't getting the house, the cars and the house and the husband and this and that that they said they was going to get. 
See, God don't even tell, he can confirm things to you. I was telling my sister the other day, I say, I, give me some substance. What God delivering me from? What I've been asking God for? Don't tell me God can deliver me. What I ask God for? Now God can send you to, to, to confirm what, what I've been praying to him about. Do not be deceived. Amen? So we don't ever want to close without prayer of repentance. And that somebody, whoever this word is for, will, it will find them and they would receive what God is saying. Glory be to God. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, God, we thank you today for this opportunity to be in your presence. We thank you, Father God, because I felt your presence in this room this morning, God. And I thank you for that because, God, your will is being done. You are being glorified. It's not about Vanessa. It's not about none of us in this room, but it's about your glory. Are you being glorified? Father, are you pleased? We thank you again this morning. And I pray, God, that whoever this, me this message is for, God, that you, you allow it to find them and that they receive it in Jesus' name. And Father, pray this prayer, repeat this prayer after me in Jesus' name. Father God, I am a sinner in need of a Savior. Father, I recognize that I, I can't do anything without you. I ask that you come into my heart, God, and be my Lord and Savior. Father, lead me, Father God, according to your word. Holy Spirit, teach me how to live a life of righteousness and holiness. That I may not be deterred, Father God. That I'm not turned away, God. That nothing, God, will take my focus off of you. Holy Spirit, come in. Have your way and let your will be done. I surrender, God, unto you. I surrender. This is my prayer to you, Father God. In Jesus' name, amen, amen. If you prayed that prayer, continue to pray. Don't stop. Don't stop praying. Let God change you from the inside out. Amen. Amen. If there's anything that you would love us and um, want us to pray, have you of us to pray with you for or with, please inbox us here at Faith Walk Ministry, www. We're here. I promise you we pray. We pray. We love you. Have a beautiful, but God loves you best. Have a beautiful and blessed Sunday in Jesus' name. Bye.